one, Melting Man 2 v 4 here, and welcome to another episode of Forgotten Media, where I dig up some stuff you may or may not have heard of. Today we'll be looking at a few Crash Bandicoot action figures that were planned but never completed. But first, some history. Back in the day when Crash Bandicoot was becoming popular next to Mario and Sonic, Crash himself has had a variety of merchandise. A company named Resoros, or something like that, were the ones who made the first Crash Bandicoot action figures. The figures themselves were pretty cool back then, where they had two series. The first series had characters from Crash 2, and Series 2 featured characters from Crash 3. Then there was going to be a Series 3, featuring Crash characters that they've missed, mostly characters from Crash 1. First up is Arctic Crash. Since we don't see this costume in any of the Crash games, obviously this is going to be something like an exclusive figure. The figure would come with a pair of snowshoes, goggles, aku aku, a crate, a relic, a base for the character, and Polar, the polar bear. This figure had a lot of accessories, and since Series 1 had crystals for every character, Series 2 had gems for every character, it looks like Series 3 would have relics for all the characters. Next up is Koala Kong. This would have been a very detailed figure showing the texture of the fur, the clothes, and so on. It would come with a crate, a relic, and a base. Not much accessories to this character, in fact this figure is very similar to the Tiny the Tiger figure. Next up is a double figure pack containing Papu Papu and Dr. Embryo. This pack would have come with Papu's staff, two beakers for Brio, a crate and a relic, and some bases for the figures. It would have been cool to see the Brio figure finished, it looks very good. Next up is another double figure pack, this time it's Pinstripe Potteroo and Ripperoo. This is my favorite out of Series 3. For accessories, it would have Pinstripe's Tiny Gun, a crate, a relic, and bases for the figures. And that's all for Series 3. They also made a few unreleased Crash figures featuring Tiny and Dingo Dial. The Dingo Dial figure is more detailed than its Series 2 counterpart. Of course, this figure shows the figure unfinished because they were displayed at a convention somewhere. And then we have the Tiny the Tiger figure, looking more like his Crash 3 counterpart. It shows him in his armor, as well as his Triton that he carries around. I'm not sure if these were planned for Series 3, but I think these were planned to be exclusive figures, like the Moto Crash and Coco figure, which is one of the rarest Crash figures out there. Since these figures were abandoned and never heard of again, some say that Series 3 and the other two were cancelled due to the figures from Series 1 and 2 being fragile. And it's no surprise because they are pretty fragile. I have a few Crash figures, and you can see some of them are already busticated. But overall, if these figures weren't that fragile, they would have been some very cool figures to play with. Well, that wraps up this episode of Forgotten Media, so this is Melting Man 234 signing out.